today well the last video you saw uh, the end of the video was I was just getting on the ferry to go home back home from Vancouver well I'm still on the ferry <laughs> a couple days later no I'm kidding um, I just thought I would come on and talk to you about what I'm doing now so the last video that I was telling you I was I had frogged the sweater that I was doing and I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do and then I thought well I wanted to do the MJ off the hook um, granny raglan granny granny raglan um, top anyway I'll leave the link down below and then I thought no I, I don't want to do any more granny square stuff right now and I'm doing I'm gonna do the granny raglan whatever raglan granny sweater thing because you know the reason why I wasn't gonna do it is because a lot of customers in my shop they look at the granny square stuff and they really like it but the problem is is they don't want to have to wear anything underneath it and then the holes and blah, blah 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 so I decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order some um, tank top like white tank top things you know with the spaghetti straps and all that and I'm gonna add it to the top I'm just gonna um, you know do like a chain or something on either side of it and I think I've seen it where they had a snap on it or something but I'm not gonna just snap um, I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna add the top with the sweater so that they don't have to go and buy anything it already comes all together so yeah um, so that's what I'm gonna do so yeah so I'll come back uh, when I'm done a little bit and I can show it to you okay okay hi you bees okay I am so stoked okay now I can't remember who I saw on one of their channels but um, apparently Walmart is carrying uh, a new yarn or at least it's new to me um, but no Walmart's here is carrying it so I had to go on Amazon I think because Walmart even on the website it's not even on the website so I had to get it off I believe it was Amazon or was it no it wasn't I got it on where did I get it who sells Red Heart <laughs> oh my god um oh god was it Premier Hirschner's. I can't even remember. Holy doodle, you guys. My brain. Anyway. Your inspirations. Maybe. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I went and I looked at this yarn. And I went crazy. I think I bought 10 balls. Or 10 skeins of this. I had to have it. And I may have to go and get some other colors. But this color, I definitely had to have. This is, and I, you know, for all of my OGs out there, you guys know I am not a Red Heart fan. Red Heart Super Saver, not my thing. I don't care if they change the, the, um, the formula for their yarn. It, I, I just can't, right? Well, I did. This is Red Heart Super Saver Bitsy Stripes. It's very hard to get. It's very hard to get. And, and um, I had to do a lot of searching to find out how to get this. But this color is Crayon Box. You guys. It's actually a bit darker than what it's showing. Yeah, it's not even. Look at this. Now, if you could see the actual color, the color is a bit darker. 
Um, like the red is a deep red, the purple is a deep purple. Oh, it's great. It's a stunning yarn. Absolutely. Absolutely stunning. I had to have it. I had to have it. So I got 10 balls. Hold that thought. Sorry about that. Okay, so it's coming to the middle to end of summer. And in September, I'm going to be starting to do crochet classes in the shop. So I need to start thinking about what classes I want to teach. This yarn, I decide, I've got like five projects going, you guys. Like seriously. Um, I decided that I'm going to use this yarn and whether or not I'm going to be able to get any more for class, I don't know. But um, I'm mixing it with the lollipop, the cream colored lollipop. If I can't get the cream colored lollipop for the class, I'm probably just going to use latte cake. So this is what it looks like so far. And I'm doing crisscross stitch here. Um, I'm not doing anything fancy or anything like that because I just want something simple that my students are going to be able to do. So this is going to be a cardigan, or not a cardigan, this is going to be a um, bomber style sweater. So it's going to go from here to here, then I'm going to have the neck hole, and then I'm going to continue on. So it's all going to be one piece, and then I'm going to do the two panels, two panels for the, um, the sleeves. So yeah, and I'm going to put a hood on this probably uh, and yeah so and then I got to write out the pattern <sighs> I haven't written a pattern in a long time so um, if this turns out good I may do a tutorial on it we'll see how it goes so but um, yeah uh, also I am I was telling you, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> I was telling you guys that I was doing the MJ off the hook. Um, Raglan, yeah. It's taking me so long to do this. But this is how much I've got done. So, I got a bit of a ways to go before I can start putting, you know, the bottom on it. There we go. So, yeah, but it's, it's taking me a while to do this because A, this yarn is just, I had to, oh, hi, I had to um, roll it in a ball because it was just yarn barf everywhere, like it's big yarn barf, like these cakes, when you start using them and they collapse, or if there's a knot in the middle, the whole thing comes apart. I don't mean just the middle yarn barf, I mean the whole thing collapses and this whole piece will come off in a chunk. I had a hell of a mess. A hell of a mess. Um, it took everything in me not to throw it in the garbage. I was so mad. But I, I wound it in a ball and it seems to be working out okay. But having it in a cake, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work. So I love the yarn. Don't get me wrong. I love the yarn. But yeah, to put it, to have it in a cake and have it do that. And, and the fact of the matter is, is it's got a halo and it like all of this gets stuck on itself and it was a nightmare so I got mad and I made a ball I don't usually ball up my my cake or my yarn but 
um, I did this time because I just got tired of fighting it. So <clears throat> I may have to do that with this one too. I'm, I'm going to wait and see how it goes. Because this stuff doesn't do what that one did. That one was bad. But the halo on it is different. It's because it's two different colors, it's, it's different. The halo on this is quite a bit, whereas a halo on this isn't as bad. Um, so yeah, that was like, whoo, whoo, yeah. But like I said, I love the yarn, so. But this yarn, oh. I mean, how gorgeous is this? Mm. It's so pretty. And I, you know, a lot of these colors aren't my colors, but together they are gorgeous. So if you can get your hands on this, I would suggest getting it because yeah, I had a customer come in, she comes in a lot um, she's a cyclist and, oh, hold that thought. Um, yeah, she's a cyclist and she does like big, um, uh, competitions and stuff like that. She came in and I was telling her, you know, she says, what, what have you got that's new? And so I was showing her the stuff I had and I says, oh, look what I got. <laughs> so I showed her that yarn. She says, would you be willing to part with a, a, a hank of that or a skein of that? This is possibly just for you. <laughs> so uh, she's going to come in and buy, buy one from me. But I'm telling you, I, I don't think I'd be giving this up lightly <laughs> because it's pretty. So, yeah. <clears throat> Anywho. All right, I'm gonna go. I got too many things on the go. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Oh, I saw a couple of tutorials for stress ball amigurumi. Like, um, I can't remember what they're called, but you crochet around a stress ball. So I got some stress balls. This stuff, it's like, it's almost like kinetic sand inside. Um, it's, it's different, it's bizarre. So it's not like those other ones that have little gel balls inside. Those things break really easily. Um, so if you squeeze them too hard, they just scatter everywhere. <clears throat> but these, it's like, I don't even know if you can see the inside, no. See that? It's almost like kinetic sand. It's or it's like a jelly. It's not jelly. It's the weirdest thing. But these are not going to break easily. So I'm going to try and crochet uh, a fish around this. And then you keep an opening for the mouth. And then when you squeeze it, it comes out the mouth. So I thought that was quite comical. So I'm going to try these and see how they go. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. Good morning, Arnabies. How are you today? So, oh, ouch. So I decided to take a little break from making sweaters and stuff. And I started getting back on the amigurumi plushy bandwagon which I haven't done since my shop moved from the market and the main reason why I stopped was because my insurance um, my liability liability insurance wouldn't cover any kind of like toys or kids stuff or anything like that uh, kids sweaters stuff like that so I decided that I'm just going to say whatever. These are going to be for adults. and Because mostly adults buy them anyway. 
and I started making, I made another loaf cat. I have to put the whiskers on though. It's got a shorter tail this time. A little feetsies. Look at those eyes. And I got, I, I have the noses now, so yeah. So that's the little loaf cat. Although it's looking a little more, it's looking a little less loafy. <laughs> And more like a ball but um yeah so it's so cute i love this so i made that and then i made i had an order <laughs> oh you guys okay so i made a pickle and i just got the tag on the pickle and i was going to start another one and a lady came in and bought it boom gone i was like oh I didn't even get to show it to anybody. So I started making another one. Halfway through that one, the lady says, how long is it going to take for you to finish that? And I says, eh, maybe half an hour. She says, okay, I'll be back and then I'll buy that. Boom, gone. So oh, I don't know what it is with these bloody pickles, but, you know, guaranteed seller. <laughs> So anyways, I got an email last night from one the first lady that bought the pickle. No, from the second lady that wanted the one that was halfway done. And she said, um, I want to buy four more. Okay. So I was up late last night making pickles. So I made this one. This one, this one, and this one. So I'm in Pickle Palooza again. Yay. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about doing a tutorial on these. I kind of thought about that last night. I was like, I wonder if anybody would want a tutorial on these. So let me know in the comments down below. Um, so that's done. That order is finished. I got pickles falling all over the place here. And then I made this. The octopus. Um, yeah, I have never used the kawaii eyes before and I thought I'm going to try it and then you squeeze it <laughs> and there's a stress ball inside. <sighs> so yeah, so that's, that's my little stress, stress octopus. Uh, I'm planning on making some more of these. I'm not sure about because I, I, I think I showed you guys these um, stress balls. I'm not too sure about these because these ones have like this weird kinetic sand in them. See that? So I'm not sure about them. I mean, they're definitely not going to pop. And if they do, I mean, it's not going to go all over the place. But... The other ones, I think, would come out better, but I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I thought about sending one of these to my bestie, Sandy, at Left is Right Crochet. My bestie has not contacted me in, well, the last time I got a text from her was the 14th. I'm getting really concerned. I'm trying to contact her. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a bit worried. So, yeah. So, Bestie, if you're watching this, freaking message me because I'm starting to, yeah, starting to panic here. Anyway, next thing I'm uh, making is... These eyes. Aren't those the coolest eyes? 
So yeah, I'm making a big snake this time. And I put a curler, um, a foam curler in from the dollar store so that it can be poseable. So yeah. <coughs> Um, it's going to take me a little bit to finish this, but I only have that much yet yarn left. So I might go until that's done, but yeah, I don't, this is, um, what is this? It's loops and threads or something. I don't know. I lost the ball band, but I think it's cute. So yeah, so I'm, I'm making that. I love the head shape on these. I love that. Um, the pattern is by, hold that thought. I'll leave the link down below. But um, my computer is so slow right now. Okay, so the pattern is by Twin Peak. Twin is Peak, whoops, stop. Twin Peak Knits. Um, on YouTube and I the, out of all the snakes I've seen this is the best head shape I I really love the head shape on this so her pattern her tutorial is the only one I will ever use for these um, because it works out perfectly and I just think it gives the cheeks and everything it just gives so much character um, I'm so glad I found it. So, yeah. But anyways, I am getting ready to go jump on a ferry. I'm going to walk on the ferry and go see my daughter and my, excuse me, my grandson. Oh, excuse me. I know I just got back, <clears throat> but I found a lady on Facebook Marketplace who was selling really fine uh, merino wool, like really fine, like thread fine merino wool um, cones for a really good price. So I bought some <laughs> and I'm going to get uh, Terry, my friend Terry, to help me wind it because I can't touch it. And then I got a cone of cotton as well. So these cones are like 500 gram cones. They're, they're big. So I got to split it up, um, for the shop and yeah. So she, uh, 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 Tia went and picked it up for me, uh, in Vancouver. And so I'm going to go over there and I'm going to pick it up and we're going to go for lunch. I'm just walking on the ferry. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to go for lunch and then I'm going to come back and make the rest of my snake. So I can't really take this on the ferry. It's going to be kind of too much to make. <laughs> um, so I'll take something else, I think. Because i got to take the fiber fill and everything. And it's like, no, no, no. So I'll take uh, one of the five sweaters <laughs> that I'm making and I'll do that. <laughs> so anyway. All right, so I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to do all the things. Do the subscribing, the liking, the... If you want to become a member, you go right ahead. And I would really appreciate that. Um, but no pressure. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. And yeah. Okay. <laughs>